Hey everybody, I wish that there was a bigger specimen I could show you of American elm or Ulmus americana. Uh, this, has been, this is an iconic tree to North America and unfortunately uh, this tree has been basically wiped out throughout the United States because of a pathogen uh, that's commonly referred to as Dutch elm disease. Uh, but there are still a few. Uh, there are disease resistant cultivars, uh, not disease proof, but disease resistant cultivars. Uh, one such cultivar is Princeton, uh, which is commercially available in the market for people who want uh, an American elm. This tree was once iconic on the streets of America, forming large canopies over neighborhoods. And the reason that it was used quite extensively for home trees and for street trees is because of, because of its overall form. This tree tends to have an upward vase shaped form to it which uh, is very good for streetscapes. You can imagine driving underneath long alleys of American elm with these vase-like habits over the top of them. Uh, now this tree right here has uh, been recently planted on the University of Tennessee campus and is doing quite well. We've have, we have larger specimens of American elm on campus. Some of them have slowly, slowly succumbed to the Dutch elm disease, uh, but we have great hopes for some of these new ones that we've planted. A great North American tree, Ulmus americana, the American elm. Ulmus americana, the American elm. This tree is, uh, has a leaf arrangement that is alternate. It's doubly serrate, has a little bit of slight pubescence on the back. Uh, and as you look at a close-up of the leaf, you'll see that the leaf has a, a slight offset base to it, which is very characteristic of elms in general, but in particular, the American elm. 60 to 80 foot high, spreading out 30 to 60 foot wide with an open vase-like form with wide spreading uh, habit just in general. Uh, kind of a soft yellow fall color, not super vibrant, but a nice yellow fall color. It's hardy from zones three through nine, which makes it adaptable to large parts of North America, from Michigan to Tennessee, and all across central, the central United States. Uh, it does have some disease and insect problems. I mentioned Dutch elm disease, and I encourage you to look more deeply into Dutch elm disease and how it impacted trees, but also just the health and wellness of uh, Americans by losing tens of thousands of iconic trees throughout the United States in a relatively short period of time. Loves moist, rich, uh, well-drained soil and full sun, but it is very adaptable. There's some different cultivars out there uh, that you want to look at. Some are known to be a little bit more disease resistant. Here's a landscape tip. Most trees in the U.S. were killed by the Dutch elm disease. Has a naturally beautiful vase shape.